Martin Luther King Jr. was a great leader that changed United States history and the history of the world. I Have a Dream is a public speech that was delivered by American civil rights activist and Baptist minister Martin Luther King Jr. during the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom on August 28, 1963. In the speech, King called for a civil and economic right and an end to racism in the United States. This dream that he had came true. We are in his dream, sitting and standing in his dream. There is still racism in the world, but we are working till it all passes. Thank you. It is because we are different that each of us are special. We are all different and that is beautiful. Martin Luther King recognized the beauty of this of us and fought for our difference. Martin Walk March for our rights March from Alabama to Washington shared his dreams with the people that day. He promised that we will make it to the mountaintop even though he didn't make it all the way. I learned that Martin Luther King Jr. He never gave up. He showed love everywhere. That made people proud. It showed love. He showed love and kindness to me. That made me happy. Thanks for your help. He has a great smile. He makes good decisions. Martin Luther King Jr. All people have different skin like brown and white and black. My dream is to help people and animals when I grow up. I want to be able to cure people when they're sick and going through hard times. I want to be able to make animals feel comfortable around me and feel safe with other people too. This is my dream. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1927. He died April 4, 1968. Martin Luther King Jr. is the man who saved black lives. He was assassinated in 1968. He had the dream of everyone being treated equally. That's why today everyone could be treated equally. He advanced civil rights for people of color in the United States through nonviolence and civil disobedience. Martin Luther King Jr. was actually a social activist and Baptist minister. I have a speech to say. So, do you know how Martin Luther King made a speech about how he thinks that white people and black people should have peace and should be friends together? We should be grateful for him and we should worship him. But sadly, he died from a white guy. And other people who liked his speech and, to sport and supported the civil rights movement died and got injured too. And some went to jail but segregation happened so white and black people were separated from schools tables and more he tried to stop it and he went to jail a lot of times but he did not let them that stop him from making peace he was amazing and you can be amazing too just try to be more like him Martin Luther King Jr., the most famous black history person. 
African-American civil rights leader, reached out to others with a helping hand throughout out the period of the 1960s, inspired many to join the struggle, never gave in to fear, loved his wife and children, united people of all, all race and color. Today his dream lives on, help the weak and those who are down. Equal rights is, was his cause, remain true to his beliefs, kept hope alive through to his dreams. In the speech, I have a dream. Nobel Peace Prize recipient gave his life to achieve civil rights. I have a dream that one day all my children will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the contents of their character. This was, this was Martin Luther King's Jr. I have a dream speech. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929 and was named after reformer Martin Luther, his father. King went to college at 15 years old and got arrested 29 times. And in June 18, 1953, he married Coretta Scott. Martin survived an assassination attempt in September 20th, 1958. And 10 years later, Martin died by James Earl Ray, an American fugitive convicted of killing Martin Luther King Jr. On April 4, 1968, Ray was caught and captured in the UK. This, this was Martin Luther King Jr.'s life. Black Lives Matter NYC and you do too. Why Martin Luther King Jr. is important to me. He inspires me because he changed the world. He made people's lives better. He changed black history and he helped make things equal and he helped make things fair. He is still important. This is why we should continue to learn about him. Out of the mountain of Despair, a stone of hope, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Luther King Jr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born January 15, 1929. Martin Luther King Jr. was a civil rights leader. He fought for all people, white and black, to be treated equally. He fought so that future generations would be treated fairly. He fought for the way we are treated now. He didn't believe black people should be considered less than white people. He believed that people should be treated equally and fairly, no matter what color they are. He believed that everyone should be treated fairly. His dream speech touched many people's hearts. His dream speech shared and changed many people's minds about segregation. He was a leader and made his own path. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929. In Georgia, he is an, an important person because he fought for equal rights for people in peaceful ways. He gave a speech called, I Have a Dream in Washington, D.C. Martin Luther King Jr. was a social activist and a Baptist minister. He also played a key role in the American Civil Rights Movement. 
Martin Luther King Jr. was the youngest man to win the Nobel Peace Prize at 35 years old. Because of Martin Luther King Jr., Black Americans now have equal rights today. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was a black clergyman who ranked amongst the greatest of black Americans because of his crusade to win a full civil right for his people. For his people, in the late 1950s and early 1916, African Americans, led by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Jr. used. Boycotts, marches, and other forms of nonviolent protest to demand equal treatment under the law, and how, and and an end to racist produce. A high point of this civil rights moment came on August August twenty eighth, nineteen nineteen thirty six, when more than more than two thousand hun. Two thousand two hundred people of all three races gathered in front of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington D.C. to hear the King say this: "I have a dream that one day, on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slaveholders will be able to sit down together at the table. That my four little children will one day live in a nation where they." They will not be judged by the color of their skin, but the content of their character. One thing that the speech was about was that he wanted to make it fair to all the people in America. And another thing is that he made a speech so that black people who were who were slaves could stop being slaves. As we celebrate his life and achievements on January sixteenth, we are all together because of his legacy. Because of Martin Luther King Jr., we can make friends worldwide, appreciate each other's culture, and have freedom of speech. Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, in Atlanta, Georgia. Martin's father was a pastor, and his mother had been a teacher. Martin had an older sister and a younger brother. Young Martin loved playing with his friends, but one day his friends said they can no longer be friends with him. Martin was sad. He did not like that black people were not treated fairly. This was because of segregation. Martin studied at universities in Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts. After school, he moved to Alabama and became a pastor. Every Sunday, from his pulpit, he encouraged his congregation to speak up about things that mattered. Martin encouraged people all over the country to stand up for their rights and join in with peaceful protests. These people were often attacked, and Martin was arrested 29 times. On August 28, 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. gave his famous "I Have a Dream" speech. He called for civil rights and an end to racism. To this day, Martin Luther King Jr. is one of the most famous leaders in the civil rights movement. To me, Martin Luther King Jr. has changed the world so that black people and white people can be treated equally. He was a brave leader who stood up for what he believed in. On April seventeenth, nineteen forty-four, a fifteen-year-old named Martin Luther King Jr. stepped to the podium at First African Baptist Church. It was a statewide public speaking contest. 
This was King's first public speech, and of course he won it. Martin Luther King Jr. continued to give many more historical speeches, including I Have a Dream, The Quest for Peace and Justice, The Other America, I've Been to the Mountaintop. As we celebrate his day on January 16th, these are some of his most eye-opening and exciting words. There is a sort of poverty of the spirit which stands in glaring contrast to our scientific and technological abundance. The richer we have become materially, the poorer we have become morally and spiritually. We have learned to fly the air like birds and swim the sea like fish, but we have not learned the simple art of living together as brothers. Martin Luther King Jr., The Quest for Peace and Justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character.